Here's a question I received the other day, thought it might uh, make a good video. They were wondering if they could fill these joints with caulking. And I really don't see a problem with that, um, using an inexpensive caulking or a caulking, um, some type of a polybutylene or something that's going to be a little better, um, even silicone, as long as it's paintable. And make sure that that's a big, uh, a big thing with something like this. If the siding is stained, um, this would be something I wouldn't recommend filling it because the stain isn't going to match the caulking. Um, unless you have some type of a product that will match the stain or you're planning on painting it. Um, and that's just like I said, that's because it, it might not match. Uh, I've seen it plenty of times. I actually was just looking at a picture I had where you could tell where they stained the wood and then they filled the gaps with caulking and it didn't look bad but you could see where they had uh, done it so um, you could always put some type of a filler behind this some scra uh, scraps of newspaper so that you're not using a lot of caulking um, foam they have a foam that you can actually buy in a roll that's used for a filler and uh, you know I'm just thinking of instead of you know filling this whole area with caulking you could actually use some type of a filler so you're not using as much caulking shove the filler into the larger parts that are going to take more caulking and then caulk it um, just seems like that'd be a good good way to save some money on that the joints you could always fill those now remember this is wood we're looking at and you can see that it uh, doesn't look like it's ever been filled wood is going to expand and contract a little more than some of the other products like uh, fiber cement i don't even know if fiber cement siding um, expands and contracts i i think it does because i remember putting um, caulking in the joints but uh, whether or not it moves as much you know I would think that wood masonite products like that plywood they're going to move a little more than uh, something made out of cement especially with fiberglass do not caulk any horizontal joints if you have something like this where you have some z-bar this is actually made so that any water that gets behind the siding is going to come out of the front here and um, I believe I have some more videos on that explaining that process um, and you can always check out I'll put a link in here to the siding section of our website uh, for more ideas for the what for the siding repairs but there are on the website that I just uh, I'm, I'm st almost finished with there is going to be um, sections or there are going to be sections on siding and then siding repairs framing and then framing repairs so make sure you check those out and there will be links on the pages most of the pages will have links to uh, make it easy for you and I did build that website so that uh, you can get this information a little easier and still working on it of course so now here's a good example of someone caulking the uh, butt joint something where the siding was going to butt up against the other joint and you can see here where the kiting is the side the caulking has separated and this could happen if this is the case um, pull the siding and pull the caulking out and refill it or just put some more caulking in depending upon what it looks like and I'll leave that up to you but this is actually something you could end up with so I would recommend contacting the manufacturer of the product for more information they are the people who make these products and they have more information than I could ever possibly provide you with so um, that's about it for this video do this at your own risk um, if it sounds like it'll work you don't want to have um, bugs and uh, maybe you're getting a little too much air in something like this you know it's bothering you then why not fill it and uh, let the siding expand and contract and then put some more paint on it fill the little cracks and gaps with some more caulking and eventually I would imagine that uh, you won't have to do it anymore don't forget to visit our website, homebuildingandrepairs.com, for more home tips and construction ideas.